hallelujah praise god praise god they are my friend my boyfriend my husband my family member my mom all everyone who is in rwanda Mialawi, koboko i welcome you all this is your host fiona rin we are live at forever media ministries you are most welcome to this show of ours the ninth hour of prayer and today we thank god who has given us a chance to be with you here and our topic today we are going to talk about something special called going deeper in the holy spirit or oh, seeking in the holy spirit are you there when i feel the way i feel that word going deeper in the holy spirit that's how i want you to feel because when we talk about going deeper in the holy spirit or seeking or being filled with the holy spirit totally when you are all in the holy spirit there are many things which happen when we are deeper in the holy spirit so let's go to our scriptures don't say that fiona ring today didn't give us any scripture but yeah when we go to ezekiel 47 i'll open my bible ezekiel 47 so we are going to read it goes from one the man led me back to the entrance of the temple i saw water coming out from under the east gate of the temple the water falled down from under the south end of the temple and ran south to the altar the man led me out through the north gate and then around the outside to the altar gate on the eastern side the water was flowing out of the south side of the gate the man walked to the east to the east with a tape measure in his hand he measured a thousand cubics then he told me to walk through the water at that place the water was only at the ankle amen we are talking about the water and i believe at this junction we are using water as an example or as the holy spirit when we see this vision maybe let's call it a vision that when we the, when they started measuring a thousand cubics the water was in the ankle by that time when the water was in the ankle even us sometimes we are not filled with the holy spirit the water is still in the ankle you can easily move out of the water so when we continue the man the man walked to the east and measured a thousand then the water was at the ankle tip he then measured another thousand cubics then he told me to walk through the water to walk through the water at that place the water came up to the knee that at that time again the water came up to the knee there are some time when our holy spirit is on the knee <laughs> <laughs> we are not deep but the water is on the what on the knee even the water is on the knee you can easily if it's a lake you cannot die like this rich man who has just died of recently you can easily come out you can easily come out so we need to be deep with the holy spirit so that we cannot easily come out let's continue and we see by that time the water was on the knee then he measured a thousand cubics again and told me walk through the water at that place the water was at the west deep so he moved again we are moving again you are moving with me today again at this ninth hour but when he moved again when they measured a thousand cubics the water was in the west when the water was in the west he could change he could change he could do like this he could do something but he was not filled amen so what happened then he measured 
a thousand chubiks again and told me walk through at that time mm-hmm, then he measured a thousand chubiks and he told me to walk where are we him five he measured another thousand chubiks but the water was too deep when he measured another thousand six, you listen we are talking about deep in the holy spirit let's say the holy spirit was deep to close it became a liver there you he had even started to understand that this is a liver because it's deep in the holy spirit the liver that was too deep to close then the man said to me son of man did you pay close attention to what you saw then the man led me back again amen when the water was deep it became a liver it became something where i could not even cross my friend who is there here at forever me Mid- forever media ministry let us be deep in the holy spirit when we are deep in the holy spirit we will not be touched it becomes a time or it comes when you cannot even go off from the holy spirit because you are deep and deep in the holy spirit the bible said that when they measured a thousand again and the water was a liver now Uh, the water that he could not cross he could not even come out sometimes when we are not filled deep with the holy spirit you can easily even come out and say i'm no longer born again again <laughs> but when you are filled with the holy spirit nga you are deep in the holy spirit nga your water has sucked a saka siki soko i even don't know but what i know when you are deep in the holy spirit no one can take you from jesus no one can take you away from jesus because you are deep in the holy spirit because you are the water is now a liver that you cannot cross again the water is now a liver that you cannot cross you you cannot even come out when you are filled with the holy spirit a boyfriend cannot lie you and take you away from the holy spirit i remember when i just became a born again by that time i had fire i was on fire so i remember by then i was in love so someone <laughs> came to visit me again thinking i'm the old one but because i was deep in the water i had to chase him away that go back today you have to go back because i'm filled that time you cannot take me away until when you were filled with the holy spirit they will stop lying to you but if the water is still in the ankle eh you can easily come out if the water is on the knee you can easily walk out they sometimes we are even having some challenges when you get some small challenges you feel you want to go away you want to even go back when you even feel we are worshiping you feel it is boring oh my god we have to ask god to give us that water that we cannot cross When I talk about being deep in the Holy Spirit, we can even go to Acts. When I talk about being deep in the Holy Spirit, very many things happen when we are deep in the Holy Spirit. When you are deep, when you are deep, we are in the river that you cannot go off. So let's read Acts 2 and see what happened. Acts 2 I start from one I think. Let's start from one. We all know very well that when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly the noise came from heaven. It sounded like a strong wind blowing. The noise filled the whole house where they were sitting. They the noise filled the whole house where they were sitting they saw something that looked like a flame of fire the flame were separated and stood over each person there they were filled with the holy spirit filled deep 
they were deep in the Holy Spirit and they began to speak different tongues. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you can become to speak you can start speaking different tongues. You can start speaking different language. A language that now I'm going to America because you are filled with the Holy Spirit. No one can take you away from Christ. Not even your mom, not even your husband, not even your wife. No one can take you away because you are filled. But if you are filled, someone can easily carry you. Me, I cannot carry a jelly can which is 30 liter or 40 liter, but I can easily carry a one liter jerry can, you too. So get filled with the Holy Spirit, seek in the Holy Spirit, and then God can give you the best. Let's continue. They were filled with different tongues that what Mm -hmm. They are all filled with they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they began to speak different tongues. The Holy Spirit was giving them power to do things. Amen. Holy Spirit can give you power to do things when you are filled in the Holy Spirit. There are things you have not been able to do, but on our show, we realize that the ninth hour prayer is very important. Here at Forever Media, we are going to, to pray so that God can fill us with the Holy Spirit. That when The Bible says that when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you can do even things that you cannot do. Like the singer said that only you can do what no man can do. So you can even do what others cannot do when you are the only person who can do them because you are filled with the Holy Spirit, not half filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. When we continue. Five. There were some goodly jewels in Jerusalem at that time. There were, they were from every country, world, country in the world. A large crowd came together because they had the noise. They were, they had the noise. They, they were surprised. As apostles were speaking, everyone heard in their languages. They were amazed of this. They could not understand how the apostles could speak their language. Because they were filled with the Holy Spirit, when other people, the crowd came, they were amazed. They were amazed. Your family members will be amazed when you are filled with the Holy Spirit. But when you are not filled, no one will even wish to be a born again Christian alone. Because what you do shows that you are not filled. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit, there are certain things you cannot do. The other in, in Ezekiel, we saw that he could not even move in the water. He could not even cross. It was more like a liver that you cannot cross. So when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, there are things that um, can amaze your family members. God can start doing things that even your family members can be surprised. Amen. So when we continue, they had, they were amazed at this. They could not understand how they, they could not understand how you could be in a, a certain position. Some people are going to receive positions in government and in different organization. And people will start wondering, how did that person reach there? They'll even think that maybe you grab, you grabbed someone. No, 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 no. You didn't grab, bribe someone, but you bribed the Holy Spirit by allowing the Holy Spirit to fill you, by allowing to be deeper, deeper, deeper in the Holy Spirit as our topic today they were amazed at this they are going to be amazed they are going to be wondering how did you go to that when we continue look these men here are speaking they are from jail but we are hearing them in our own language how is this possible we are from different places mm-hmm Paris Media FM Potterium Judah. Quay.
portfeliate. Hey, this is this is some oh, the words are very hard to cry. <laughs> they anyway, to cut a long story short, they were from different, they were very amazed that they could speak different languages. They were very amazed. Your friends are going to be very amazed that a person who was drinking is drinking no more. That a person who used ch to change boys like clothes or to change girls like uh, which thing. Like like shoes is now free because this person is filled with the Holy Spirit because this person is always here at forever media and is hearing that the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit has filled you this can amaze other people this can amaze your friends this can amaze your family members they were saying they are not from our area but why is it that they are speaking our language? It's not in our class. But why is it that he's speaking in the same language? Let's see what happened. The people were all amazed. And the people were all amazed and confused. They asked each other what had happened. But others were laughing at the apostles, singing they were drunk with wine <laughs> they started telling them that they were drunk some people are going to say you are drunk with wine and yet you are drunk with the holy spirit i'm talking about seeking in the holy spirit or being deeper in the holy spirit amen so people will say you are drunk but yet you are not let them say you are drunk, but you are not drunk. You are filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is what? Is in you. Amen. Then the 14. Then Peter stood up. When you read 14, then Peter stood up with other 11 apostles. He spoke loudly so that all people could listen to him. Listen carefully. The men's are not drunk. The men's are not drunk. Listen carefully. The men's are not drunk. These men's are not drunk as you think. It is only the ninth hour in, in the morning. <laughs> that listen carefully. They are not drunk. It is only the ninth hour. It is because it's three o'clock and they are praying. So they are filled with the Holy Spirit. Our God is so amazing. Have you had the ninth hour again? <laughs> that it's because of the ninth hour. But they are not what? They are not drunk. Amen. At my former school, I'll tell you a story. At my former school, we had a thing called Omoyo. Moyo used to come and he taba na moyo moyo moyo. So when Moyo could come, students started doing <coughs> because Moyo has come. So they could talk different things. So even parents, when they heard what was happening to school, they were amazed. They started coming. So they, when the students were filled with the Holy Spirit, they used to even see what they could see that he, you, Florence, stop doing this. I saw you last night when you were doing this. So that means when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you can see the eyes open, the ears open when you are filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you can talk to other people. Amen. We are going to pray so that we can be filled with the Holy Spirit. We are going to pray so that Lord can fill us, so that we can be deep in the Holy Spirit, so that it can be a river that cannot be what? Closed. Amen. So let your living waters flow over myself. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control. Let your living waters Flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control in every situation that has struck. Oh, my mind. 
Oh, my dears and burdens come to you. My Lord, shout to the Spirit. 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 Let's shout to the Spirit. Spirit, Spirit, Spirit. Let's pray, pray that you can be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let's pray that you can be filled with the Holy Spirit so you cannot go anywhere. Lord, fill us, fill us. Let your Holy Spirit fill us, fill us. We thank you because you are worthy. We thank you because you are worthy. We thank you because you are mighty. Thank you, Jesus, because you are worthy. We thank you because you are worthy. Thank you, thank you. We call upon you, Holy Spirit. Fill us so that we cannot go away from you. Fill us so that we cannot go away from you. Thank you, Jesus, because you are worthy. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, when you read at Luke 6, 36, it is a scripture about giving. So you can go there and read there. Then you can know that it's good to give because what you give is what you get in return. We thank you. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen.